Theodore, what were you doing in the logs? Just came out of that hole right there. Is there anything in there, dude? Hey guys, I'm Elliot. This is Everything Elliot, and today we're gonna be bucking up this wood pile I have behind me. We're gonna be using the whole sforma. Well, we're gonna start with the whole sforma. I don't know what saw I have that's going to be best for this job. This is my first load of logs, so we're gonna figure it out together. Holtz Forma, 372 XP, 28 inch bar on there. What I did already though, is I took my little still with the firewood marker, and every tree that I could get to, I put marks in at the length on this side and over here. Obviously I couldn't get to all the logs underneath, but so we'll get to cutting. I'm gonna throw some safety gear on and see how the 372 does. I don't know. Hope it does well. We'll find out.
So the saw's running great. It helps that I have a sharp edge on it. I did just sharpen it. I was cutting through it like butter. Couldn't be happier. Probably would be a little better if I had like a, I don't know, maybe a 24 inch bar on it. That way I didn't have to pull the saw back so I'm not cutting through the next log. But overall, I'm pretty happy so far. It's working. And it's not gonna take long before I uh, get too many of these in the way and I'm gonna have to start splitting them. But we'll keep after it. need a PV. That would be helpful in this situation. Get my hookaroon, I guess. Better than trying to use a hammer. Let's go grab the hookaroon and see if that does it. Ugh. Huh. Problem is getting it to stay because it's oblong. Oh, one. Let's get this out of here. One, two, three. All right. That'll work. So now I should be able to move some of them to the back. Oh, this is a super oblong one too. This is super hard wood, holy cow. This won't even stick into it. Just bounces. Oh, put a, might be tough to see, put a little hook on the end of that. That's going to need to be filed off. I'm going to go file that off, then I'll uh, continue to cut. All right, got it filed down. That looks a little better, huh? See if it sticks a little better. I don't know how that happened. Oh, well, good thing I didn't hit that with the saw. I'm gonna have to text my tree guy and say, hey, I don't want any marked trees. Let me show you what I mean. 416. This must have came out of a county park or something because normally only county parks or state parks mark their trees. And I know he does get uh, county contracts, so we'll have to pull this out. Tree 416. I wonder if there's somewhere I can look that up or something.
can't catch a break. Now I'm out of fuel. I will say the one thing about this saw is it uh, is not fuel efficient. Not fuel efficient at all. I mean, I only got like four logs out of one tank of fuel. Not fuel efficient at all. I do have a 455 Rancher and I have a 24 inch bar for that. Maybe I'll go get that out and we'll try that saw. See if that works a little bit better. All right, Husqvarna, 455 Rancher, 24 inch bar. See what this thing can do. Now I haven't run this saw in a long time, but I did just throw a fresh, uh, fresh edge on the chain. All right, I'm gonna go put my chaps on and we'll get back to cutting. Be honest with you i think i'm gonna go back to the whole swarm up that saw just doesn't have the for that 24 inch bar it's all right when you're cutting trees down because you're only making the three cuts but i'm gonna be making so many cuts so i'm gonna go fuel the uh whole swarm up back up we'll just finish with that that saw's got it's got all the uh it's got all the horsepowers you're sitting on 2000 horsepower of nitro boosted war machine Well, I'm gonna continue to cut with the whole Swarma because the Husqvarna just doesn't have the <laughs> to pull the 24 inch bar. I'm gonna continue to cut. That'll be it for today's video. Next time we'll be splitting some of this wood. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the next one.